In .NET Nuke, a lot of the user interface pops up in a modal pop-up window when you go to do things as an administrator. For an example, if we go ahead and try to log into the website, we see that the modal pop-up shows up here in order to log in. So I'll go ahead and log in with our host account. And if we click OK or click Login, that modal goes away. Well, let's say you want to turn off the modal functionality in .NET Nuke. You'll also find that you'll, you'll see the modal pop-ups when you go and you work with specific modules. So let's demonstrate that. I'm going to go to the Edit Control and edit one of the modules. I'm just going to choose the, the Banner module here at the very top. If I click on Edit Content, you can see that the rich text editor for the HTML module loads up within this modal window. Now we can expand that window, we can close the window, but let's say we don't want that experience for our content editors or the visitors on our website. Within .NET Nuke, we can actually turn off that pop-up functionality. We're going to do that by mousing over the admin menu and choosing the site settings option. The site settings page has a number of different options available to us for configuring our website. We're going to go into the advanced settings tab and we're going to go into the usability settings option. In the usability settings, we're going to click on the enable pop-ups checkbox to remove that check. If we go ahead and scroll down and click update, that will save the settings. And if we navigate back to the home page and go to the edit control or edit mode and choose that same module as before, if we click on edit content, what we'll find now is we go into an edit mode that loads up into a different page altogether. We're no longer within that modal pop-up window. So that is something you can turn on or turn off within your .NET Nuke 7 website. Once again, if we wanted to turn that back on, we would go to the admin site settings page and enable that checkbox.